Hello children. Now we are here with the next exercise with the video of next exercise 3.5. 3.5 is word sums or word problems. We will be doing it now. It is uh, the first question. Shekhar bought 289 bottles of soft drinks on his birthday. 173 bottles were used and remaining bottles were used next day on his sister's birthday. How many bottles were used on his sister's birthday? Write the number sentence. Okay, so now here the question is that the uh, Shekhar, he had bought 289 bottles. We will also be writing the statements. Okay, so we will write number of bottles Shekhar bought okay number of bottles Shekhar bought is equals to 289 and the question read on his birthday 173 bottles were used therefore we will write the next sentence as number of bottles used on Shekhar's birthday and we will write is equal to 173 and you have to find out the number of bottles that were used on his sister's birthday and on her sister birthday we can figure out that it is the remaining bottles which uh, which was used therefore for finding out the number of remaining bottles we need to subtract these two isn't it we will subtract so here we will do 289 minus 173. 9 minus 3 is 6. 8 minus 7 is 1. And 2 minus 1 is 1. Therefore we will write. Therefore 116 bottles were, sorry, were used on his sister's birthday. Isn't it? 116 bottles were used on his sister's birthday. So he used more bottles than his sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here I come with the next question. Let me take question number 4 now. Question number 4 is Ayush bought 5, 7, 8, 8 pairs of shoes in January for his shop. On 1st February he had 14, 75 pairs left. How many pairs did he sell in January? The question says that a boy named Ayush, he buys 5,788 pair of shoes in the month of January. And then the next month in February, he had only 1,475 pairs in his shop. So how many pairs, pairs did he sell? This is the question. So for finding the number of pairs, number of shoes sold, we will be subtracting the number of shoes sold from the number of shoes he actually has bought for his shop. So we will again write the statement. We will write N O dot and a dot is the short form for number. Okay. Number of shoes bought in January. Okay. It is 5,788. Then we pick we can use commas number of shoes we will uh, write left on first february first february it is equal to 1475 okay therefore we will write therefore number of shoes sold this 5788 minus 1475 we will subtract them 8 minus 5 is 3 8 minus 7 1 7 minus 4 3 5 minus 1 4 so we will write so Ayush sells 4 3 1 3 pairs 4,313 pairs of shoes in January. Okay. 
This is the answer. 4,330. Now, let me take another question. Number 9. Okay. Tina is a girl. She reads 829 pages of her storybook. And the book had 978 pages. So, the total number of pages in the book was total number of pages in the book it is how much total number of pages in the book is equal to 978 and number of pages number of pages tina reads is equal to 829 so remaining we have to find out the uh, pages she still has to read so we'll find the remaining pages the remaining pages for finding the remaining pages we need to subtract therefore we will do 978 minus 829 now we are subtracting 8 minus 9 we cannot do we need to borrow 1 from here so this 7 will give 1 to this 8 it will become 18 18 minus 9 is 9 it is now 6 6 minus 2 is 4 and 9 minus 8 is 1 therefore we will write therefore Tina has to read how many pages? 149 pages. Okay? Good. Now we come to the next question. The next question is number 13. Number 13 now. By how much is 400 greater than 307? Okay? By how much is 400 greater than 307? How we will do this? For doing these type of questions, in these type of questions, we subtract. To find by how much is a number greater, we subtract the greater number from the smaller one. So we will write 400 is greater than 307 by and then we will subtract 400 minus 307 0 minus 7 we cannot do so this 0 will ask for 1 from this 0 but this 0 can also not give so this 0 will go to 4 and it will ask from 4 it will borrow from 4 this 4 will give and it will become 3 now this is 10 this will give 1 to it this 10 is 9 and this is 10 now now we will subtract 10 minus 7 is 3 9 minus 0 is 9 and 3 minus 3 is 0 so we will write 400 0 is greater than 307 307 by 93 this is our answer okay now the next question 14 question number 14 the question reads by how much is 298 less than 325 okay again whenever we need to find out a number by what by how much a number is less than a given number we will subtract so here we will do 325 minus 298 we'll subtract them now let us subtract 15 because 5 minus 8 we cannot do. It has given 1 to it. This will become 1. 15 minus 8. When we subtract 8 from 15 we get 7. Now this is 1. 1 minus 9 we cannot do. 1 will borrow 1 from this 3. It will become 2. And this one is 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So we will write. Therefore. 298 is less than 325 by 27 this is the answer and the last question here is Kanu had 183 with him rupees 183 with him he bought a book for rupees 59 estimate the amount left with him okay here we have to estimate and find out so we will write amount Kanu had okay amount Kanu had is equal to rupees 183 and amount 
he spends is equal to rupees 59 now we have to round off so we will round off 183 and 59 183 will be rounded off to we will round them off to nearest tens okay because a hint is given in question so we will round them off after rounding off 183 to nearest tens 8 and 3 83 this will become 180 and 59 after rounding off will become 60 and what we'll do to find the amount left we always subtract so here we go it is 0 8 minus 6 is 4 sorry 8 minus 6 is 2 and 1 is 1 therefore we will be left with 120 rupees the amount left with Kanu is we will write therefore the amount left is equal to rupees 120 okay